stuff's for the birds. <laughs> I couldn't sleep though. Being fasted. I fell asleep pretty okay actually. I just couldn't stay asleep. That's how it goes, right? So I was up at five. Oh, I was up at one and I caught Tate still on the computer. So he's in big trouble. Um, and then I was up at five and couldn't go back to sleep. So I just got up and started. Um, I laid there for a little bit and I was like, just rest. You know, you're not sleeping, but just rest. And then I got up with plenty of time because um, my girlfriend started, well, my sorority, one of my sorority sisters has been selling Roland Fields like forever, for 20 years. Can that really be the case? Almost 20 years, yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe I've been out of college almost 20 years. Is my mouth still doing that, guys? Is it still dropping? I can't tell. Um, it feels like it is. I don't know. Um, 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 so anyways, she asked me 15 years ago to, to be a consultant. And I said, you know, it's just not in me, you know. I'm too busy. I was a new mom. And I was like, I, I have no desire. And I'm real bad about, you guys know, real bad about putting shit on my face. Anyways. When I went and got my my breast reduction last June, um, the people, I talked to the dermatologist that was there about the fine lines around my mouth that were starting to bother me a little bit in some dark spots. And I asked suggestions and she actually gave me a few shots of Botox up here. I didn't really see anything different with that. This is different. She, she poked me down here and that's why I'm having these strange sensations and feelings and my mouth is drooping. Um, anyways, my girlfriend, Sarah, who you saw some of the pictures from Atlantic City, um, has been one of my very best girlfriends forever. She decided to start selling Rolling Fields because she was, she's been a customer for six years and she just wanted a bigger discount. Um, I didn't know that. I thought she just decided to start selling because she's a hustler. She's, um, her mom, she, she's a mom and she's a teacher and, you know, they don't make very much money. So she just, but she said she was going to buy the product anyways and she doesn't, there's no, like, isn't Roland Fields like that MM, whatever they call them, <laughs> whatever MLMs or whatever. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but isn't it like one of those where they, it's a pyramid scheme basically. You know, the people at the top of the pyramid make all the money and then the little scabs at the bottom don't. So that's why I was really against it at first too because I just felt like, you know, they must mark it up so much so everyone can get paid, you know. So I never thought it was worth it. But then I saw that my friend is doing it and I want to support her. So I was like, well, why don't you just set me up with one time and let's see how it works. So today I did, I scrubbed my face with their cleanser and um, I got, she's all, she's obsessed with their lashes. So I got the lash boost, um, a dark spot corrector because I have like four or five freckles on each side and a, and a like a skin damage from the sun and I got the redefine I think the anti-aging one I don't know I can show you guys but so I did it today and I took some before and after pictures and I guess before pictures and after I said I'll try it until it's gone and then also my grandmother passed away in January everyone that's following me knows that but I know we got in some, some new people. Hence all the dislikes. <laughs> if I would have just... Could I have kept it just private? Like I had a hundred people. Kept it. Well my grandmother was... And I were super super close. And she passed away in January. And it was really tough for me. Well I'm from Wisconsin originally. And um... I don't think I'll ever get this Botox around my mouth again. Unless this sensation.
conversations go away. It just feels like I'm blah, 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 numb. Driving me nuts. Um, anyways, my grandmother's celebration of life is going to be next month, so I'm going to go home in May. Um, and then I have my first of three Spartan races in June, so I really need to get my shit together. I was 161 something this morning. I lost like two pounds. A little disappointed in that, but my my breasts are tender and swollen and my, I'm real like jiggly in my stomach. So I think it's my cycle. I had a hysterectomy, so I actually don't have a cycle. I mean, I have hormonal shifts, but I don't have a cycle. So it's hard for me to ever judge. But usually I get super irritable and struggle fasting the week or so before and then I do really well. So I'm assuming this week I'll be feeling better. My neck's a lot better. Derek really dug into some knots yesterday and it feels a lot better. I took the dogs for a walk. I had intended on wanting to run, but I did my jump roping and I did my walk. I was over 10,000 steps and I was fasting so I was just like you know what that's enough um, I had two nails that I had to fix because um, they were actually broke I had broke toward them and so I needed to put tips on them so I did paint my nails on um, Friday Saturday I don't know they're the color change They're like a real soft pink to a dark. Um, I have my bag of food. With all the calories, uh, all the macros actually, written out for today. I wish I would have lost more weight, but I, you know, it is, it is what it is, right? Two is not bad. It's not bad. I've had a lot worse. I just thought with over the weekend gaining six that I would have had a bigger loss. So hopefully I'll still have a big loss, you know, a loss today and then I'll fast again Wednesday and then um, have a bigger loss and kind of get this weekend off even though I'm eating. It's a little concerning. Uh, we do have plenty of leftovers but most of them are high in carbs. Um, so I think I am going to make the mayo chicken. Even if my family doesn't eat it tonight, I will I will have the, uh, one chicken breast and some salad. I have peppers and onions and cucumber and nice mixed greens. So that's what I'll have with my mayo chicken. And um, I have plenty of time because it's spring break and my kids don't have school or after school activities. So I, there's no rushing around. I can go home, I can change for yoga, and I can prep dinner and yell at my son. So I wasn't yelling at one o'clock in the morning. I just got mad and went back to sleep. But um, got to review some math with him and punish him and hot yoga tonight, prep dinner. So I'm excited, I like hot yoga. Hopefully, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try any headstands this week. I'm gonna let my. Um, the sun is coming up. It's pretty. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me show you. Can you see that? It's pretty. Say good morning. Good morning, sun. Can you tell now? Is my lip going down? <laughs> <laughs> Put on chapstick. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I am going to be starting a new book. I'm going to read Boundaries. Soon. I believe Caroline and I are going to do it together. She's been busy, though. Um, yep, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Yesterday, success, but... Not a terribly good drop. But I can tell. I'm retaining some fluid. I'm guessing from my cycle. And that's it. I'll check in. Um, 
if not before yoga, I'll definitely check in after. Oh, fuck. Man. I gotta go to the windows, guys. Too hot. Too hot, too hot, too hot. Oh, and I'm blinded. Blinded by the sun. Oh, God, you guys. Yoga is fucking hard. Now I know what Joe Rogan in. David Goggins were talking about hot yoga. I was like, man, I want to try that. I was listening to his um, podcast years ago, and I'm like, oh, I want to try that. I just didn't know how hard it was going to be. And I know uh, Mary and Tracy and uh, Sydney, I think, all mentioned and told me that they thought I would love it, and they're so right. Um, somebody mentioned uh, my neck. I, I hurt my neck in yoga. I don't think I did anything. I just think I pulled a muscle in my shoulder or my neck. I get terrible migraines. Um, I tend to clench my jaw and I think I've been doing that at night. Um, somebody mentioned Darlene, I think, um, to take uh, Advil. I'm really not supposed to. I know I do. Shh, don't tell me. My nephrologist, which is my kidney specialist, I'm not supposed to take any NSAIDs, um, any anti-inflammatories because they're harder on your kidneys. And my kidney disease is basically, I have exaggerated filters and I lose too many things that I should keep back in my body, protein and blood and just a bunch of stuff that filters out instead of back into my body. Um, but my, my, my mouth has hurt since I had dental, dental stuff done. And then I had the Botox put in on the sides of my mouth. And I think they just are, you know, bothering me. Both, both, all that stuff is just getting to me. Um, I think I'm on my cycle. And um, I know I'm kind of burnt out with YouTube. But I feel better, guys. I mean, it's just, it, seeing me daily, I've said it before, you're just gonna see my cycle, you know, my cyclic motion, uh, emotions because I wish, you know what, and I might, I might go to just weekly updates. Um, I got close a couple times and a few of you were like, oh, I really like your daily stuff. I just, it, you know, of course it is disheartening to get immediate 10 dislikes, you know? Um, ever since I did the um, domestic violence video for Old Mad Caroline, I have just gotten bombarded every video that goes up. Now, I know that there are not fans of the snake diet, but fucking don't watch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, um, you know, I'm not a fan of Weight Watchers. I'm not a fan of um, any, like, real big calorie restriction diet. I'm just not, that's not what I'm a fan of, so I don't go and seek that information. Um, I love a fasted focused lifestyle. I love feeling fully fasted showing myself I can do it and the emptiness feeling. I have a, um, I have IBS. So giving my digestive system a break, this has been the best thing for me. And it's no drugs. I used to have to try all these different drugs for every freaking thing that I have. My kidney disorder, the IBS. I have IBS C, so I have severe constipation. So I was on drugs for that. Fasting is the only thing that really seems to, um, you know, help and heal versus my kidney disease is stage two kidney, kidney failure. I've been in it for, since I was 15 and I just turned 40. Um, so I've stayed, I've maintained stage two. I've not, it's never gotten any worse. So he doesn't think that I will probably ever need even a transplant, but you know, anything I can do to help it along, you know, is a good thing. So I don't know. Fasting wise today, I fasted until like 11, a little bit earlier than I was gonna break my fast. I got busy at work. And then I was like, I'm just gonna have a part of my um, bag. I had a built bar and a quest bar. So I decided to have the built bar around, around 11. Yeah, around 11. Then I had two tortillas with the cheese spread. And then we walked over to Redner's and I had a couple onion rings. 
not perfect, not perfect. Um, I did plug it in and I plugged in what I'm planning on to eat for dinner and um, that reminded me I need to call Derek and tell him to start the oven. Um, I'm, a, I'm like almost perfect with calories, almost perfect with fat, almost perfect with protein. I am up to 30 net carbs because of the fucking onion rings here and nine net carbs. <laughs> so that sucks. Hold on. Derek Sexton. You go. I just wanted to tell you what the mantra was. You know how, um, fuck, he's texting me. Um, you know, you know how those shirts say, be the person your dog thinks you are? Well, she says, be the person your yoga mat thinks you are. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't judge. Again, a lot of judgment of others, you know, supporting others. I'm telling this guy that he's an asshole in front of me because he doesn't know how to drive his stupid pedophile van. Okay. Yeah, I put in all my food. Basically, no judgment of yourself or others to try. It's been kind of the same theme lately, I feel. Um, I did try the handstands a little bit. I didn't push it. As soon as like I felt any kind of anything on my neck and shoulders, I stopped. So my shoulders are sore. Uh, we did a bunch of planks, which I think is good for the Spartan races. I looked up some training exercises like carrying five gallon buckets filled with water, um, monkey bars, rings, uh, using a rope those kinds of things but I need to get my ass running today I was pretty busy at work and then during my lunch break I um, booked tickets home to Wisconsin did I tell you guys this that my um, Oma's celebration I lost my grandmother in January we were extremely close uh, her celebration of life is in May May 8th so we're gonna go home to Wisconsin um, I got everything in line for a rental car and a hotel we're gonna take the kids to a water park um, like inside like a great wolf lodge it's kind of it's called a timber wolf lodge it is like the water parks inside of a hotel and they got mini golf and the kids will have a blast in an arcade I mean my kids are a little bit older but I have uh, five nieces and nephews they're all much smaller than my kids so um, It'll be nice to all be together and celebrate home. Uh, no, I don't think that anything will be too... I mean, I'm sure I'll be bawling. <laughs> but it won't be like a sad funeral. It's just going to be a spreading of her ashes in her backyard. And um, toasting her. So, um, But I need to run because, you know, today... What's today? The 6th? It is exactly two months from today that we are going to Ohio and running these obstacles. So it's go time, ladies. <laughs> we need to get our shit together. Um, so May 5th, we're doing that. Or May 8th, we're doing going to Wisconsin. And then May 20th, I'm going to New Orleans uh, for with Derek's boss's, uh, Derek's boss's brother-in-law turns like 65 I think 60 something and so they're going to New Orleans and we're going to tag along for that um which will be nice and then I go away like the next week to Ohio Jesus and then uh, in July and then for um the 10k Spartan and then August I think we're going to Las Vegas for Derek's boss's wife's big birthday I think she's going to be 65 this year that's Las Vegas. And then, um, I don't have anything in September, but October we have the half marathon Spartan. And then November we have the half marathon here. You guys, I am just a traveling fool. Um, so I was putting in all my leave for work for all those trips. Uh, don't think I'll probably be able to go away at Christmas time. I think I only have like five or six days left of vacation time so I mean I, I can take that off still but I don't think Aruba's gonna happen which I'm kind of bummed about but 
I haven't been traveling in a long time and this is a lot to travel so I don't know I'm I'm excited um really excited to see the girls and spend time with them I just do not feel prepared yet um I have to go home I forgot I have to still do jump ropes but maybe I don't I know there are rest days in there so maybe today's a rest day and I knew I need to start reading my book because I think I think I have I I think we have to talk about it tomorrow. Jeez, I'm just overbooked, guys. I'm feeling good. A slight down, slight, but I think this is all, I really do feel like, like I was really annoyed at work by people. So I, I think this is just all hormones, guys. I don't think it's anything that um, is any different than any other day for me. is really in my way I cannot see okay so I do feel like I'll be fine in a couple days and I'm not ready that's why I don't want to just say okay I decided I'm gonna quit because I I really for me I don't know it's deep-rooted that I want to finish what I said I'm gonna do I really wish it would have been for February you know for my birthday I mean I got down to 149. I was four pounds from the goal that I have originally set, and then I wanted to be fast at 139. So I know I still have some work to do, man. Um, I'm just gonna take this week. I'm gonna do my fast, my best I can Wednesday and Friday, just complete fasts, and then I'm gonna try to stick to these 1,300 calories with my other macros in line low-carb macros so that's my plan for this week and we'll see where I end up even for Saturday and Sunday bag of food I know I get to eat twice but I'm going to do much better um, choices and we'll see how I feel we'll reassess this on Monday of next week okay um, I gotta go home and see if I have any jump rope in to do take care